all right guys welcome back here to another video with Arinor and today I will show you the five and to me the most important enchantment that there is in Nightingale so to start off with just to show you guys what you're going to need you are going to need a refined enchanter focus and I will show you where you can pick up these uh enchantment so for the first enchantment to start off with um i think it's i'm going to start off with the two first ones that are i think they're very good at the beginning of the game and these one is going to be the oberian bounty so the oberian bounty for this one you are going to need to get a force card and an astrolabe card and you need to go down to the essence and that one is going to cost you 10 t1 essence to buy and once you can buy it you can craft it at this station right here the refined enchanter focus and i will show you where it is if you go down over here and it is this one right here now this one what this one does um this one is actually pretty cool this one what i did is i i put on my my axe pick you see it's oberian bounty so what i did is you hold r you go down to Oberian Bounty, and then what you need to do is uh, press R, left mouse click, and max it up all the way to you can go, and then let it go. What it's going to do with this enchantment, you will be able to uh, get stone, gem, or really, really fast, super quick, even trees. Watch this. Let's dump 17,000. One shot. Boom. Yeah. Now I put it on here because you can use it on wood and stone or yeah, you can use it on both. So watch. I'm going to do it with this one over here just to show you guys. One shot. Gone. Done. Just like that. Go to the next one. One shot. Boom. That way you could gather really fast. Stone, everything else. So you could go a little bit faster in the game and get yourself going with some gear. Uh, through one shot. One shot with the tree, and we see one shot, one shot. There, now it's on, see? So now you can grab a good big tree, one shot, one shot. Anyways, you get the point. So now, for the second one that I think is very important, is going to be, I'm going to go back to my, uh, my house here, is regrowth. Regrowth, I think, is pretty good. Um... I will put that one on a very basic uh, axe. Um, that's what I, I did. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to show you the other one that I did on this one. Uh, what weapon I put it on. And what I did is what Regrow does. First of all, we could get it. You get at the force. You need a force card. And you need an Umbarium card. And you could get it at the Essence Trader for 15 T2 Essence for that one. 15 T2 Essence. And... I will show you, uh, I gotta find where I put it, that one. This one, regrowth, I put it on my, on, on my circle actually. When you go beside the tree, it regrows everything. You see that? So now what I need to do is I need to repair. That's why this one is very important to put it on a low weapon. Because this one, the endurance is, it'll just drain all your endurance so when you see a stump or anything like that over here it's like these stumps over here grab that i'll go close to let's say this one over here left click boom trees back up so when you're in the forest and you chop a lot of trees down with the um and barren bounty you can grab your regrowth and then boom all the tree comes right back up well i like this one this one's pretty good because you want to talk about getting wood real quick or anything like that, that's the one to go. Boom, see, everything's back up. Then you grab this one, activate that one here. One, two, three, four, there you go. Activated, one shot, one shot, one shot, boom. Just like that. Real quick, there you go. Just picked up 42 woods, just like that. So I think those two right now, for the first two, I think they're the very um, good ones to get if you want to progress really fast. For my third one, 
Now, if you stick to the end of the video, I'm going to show you a bonus one at the end that will change your complete gameplay. This one will change it completely. So stick around till the end and find out the bonus enchantment that I'm going to talk about. So back to the third one here. Um, the one I like the most is um, for my knife was the hunting knife is recovery. Now recovery, you get that one in the swamp. You need a swamp card and you need the, the antiquarium card. And that one you get at the essence trader with uh, I think that one costs 10 T1 essence for that one. And what that one is good because when you're stuck, what you need to do is activate it again with R, hold left click, and it heals you. Boom. And your health goes up. So if you're low on potion, you're low on, on you know, you're running away, put that on. And you can just heal yourself. So that one's always good. That one's a survival one. So that one, I like that one really good. Um, for the fourth one that I like uh, the most, um, this one is also a survival one. Um, I can't really pronounce it that well. I have it over here. It's called... Um, no, I don't have it over here. Uh, there you go. It's on my sledge or my mall and this one is called the Arboras shield sorry if i said that wrong i can't say that one right now the shield is good because what you need to do is looks like the other one you press r activate it for the third person and you can get hit by anybody you want and nobody can hit you anybody can nobody can kill you or do any damage to you now i don't have any enemies here to show you guys but this one's really good so if you went in the pickle and there's a uh, a whole lot of mobs running after you or wolves or you know a, whatever you put that on and that will save you that's kind of like oops right the oh, holy crap button kind of deal right so that one's a really good one i like this one really well now for the fifth one the fifth one um this one you will get it at the a little bit later You'll need the desert card and you will need the hunt card. Yeah, this one will cost you 15 T2 essence and that card is Quake. Now Quake, I have it over here. It's right over here. I will activate it. I'm not sure on which one I should put it for this character. Uh, maybe them all because, you know, Quake, Hammer, Sledge. So I'll put it over here. I'll apply it. Now what this one does is... I'm going to hold R and change on to Quake. And when you activate Quake, you see, this one does an AOE damage or ground effect damage. So if you have a lot of people in that area, you can just go there and it will just do a lot of damage. Just a lot of damage. So to Quake again. Boom. And what's nice about this one, it doesn't use any durability on your hammer. It does not. So that's what I like about that one. So I used it twice on my hammer already and it did not do anything. So boom. See? That's a quick one. I like that one. That was really good. So 15 T2 essence for that one. That one's really useful. I like that one. Um now for the bonus one. Um this one I started using it more and more. I didn't realize how good it was. But this one is the I'm going to show you that one. It's called, it's called, it's called, it's called, I am a machine. I got to tell you, I'm going to show you. This one, it's called the track legend. The track legend is phenomenal. I'm going to read this one to you guys. If you guys don't know what this is, this enchantment reveals the nearest path to the closest fable or apex creature. So that means when you go down to a realm and you're looking for fable meat or really like the good stuff, all the good materials and the big creatures, the good loot. If it helped you guys out, um, I'm really happy. You know, don't be shy. Hit a uh, comment down below. Subscribe, like. If you want any more videos on Nightingale or anything you guys want to know about, just hit the comment down below. Let me know and I will get back to you. Thanks for watching. This is Arnor, over and out.